Hello everyone, my name is Barbara Brown, the poultry girl who lives in Ireland and likes it. And today I'm going to show you a finished object. And I know if you follow me on Instagram, I finished two hats and two shawls and I haven't posted them yet. So I hope you're going to be patient. Next video is going to be a vlog. The socks I finished. Okay, this video is going to be a video about tools I used. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did because I want to keep it as some kind of a journal for me because for a while I've been messing with socks but I want to come up with my perfect um, stitch count, row count, something that I will stick to. <laughs> okay, so first things first. To knit socks I always need a bag and the bag I use it's this one, a beautiful butterfly bag, a handmade bag by Diane. I'm going to put a link down below my project page, so check it out. Um, I'm trying to pursue Diane to give some percentage to our lovely podcast, so keep finger crossed. I'm pulling my strings over here. Anyway, on that amazing bag, I put my keychain, which tells me what I'm knitting. And here it is, socks. I have a few whips, a few. I have a few props that I finished, and I have some stuff in it, and I have loads of bags now, so I need to cut out sort things out or finish things or like yeah finish things anyway so what kind of tools i used Ta -da! Uh, needles us size 1 2.25 millimeter needles this is high highest interchangeable that's why you see them with the pink cord because that's what um hi -hi offers in regards to the interchangeable sock size cable the next thing is my lovely i know it's not christmas but i'm using this pouch for gift knitting so you know now that i this is a gift knit again uh so yeah these you can find my shop link down below if you're interested check it out i put a link down below to my videos how to use these too just check it out yarn you may not know but i have a quite big stash of drops fable yarn uh basically one of those um, boxes and i think for me it's big it may not be for you. My definition of big stash uh, of a sock just drops yarn is if that whole container contains a certain yarn. And that's what happens in my situation. So you will see me in the future knitting with drops. They will because I'm knitting through my stash. Second of all, if you've never knitted anything or you've never knitted socks, but you knitted other stuff and you're quite a uh, acrylic fan, or you've only knit with acrylic, you can always try these because they're affordable. It's quite a nice price. You have 75% wool over here, which is a super wash, but it feels not really like a super wash, and 25% polyamide, I think. Anyway, I'll show you what I have left. Basically, most of the times you can knit socks with one ball, 50 grams, but you would need to use, I think, uh, at least for my size. I've never actually tried. I need to weight them. Uh, but anyway, I took two bowls and I have some leftovers, actually more than usual. And the color is 8 to 2. On the screen, you can see the color, 8 to 2. And this is Fable, Drops Fable. And it says print. Print means that the yarn gives you a certain variation in color while you're knitting it. And I knew that in this it would be very hard to get a matching matching sock, so I basically pulled out from one ball and pulled out from another and started knitting. Uh, so they're quite unusual looking. I think if I could pick, I like uh, this one, this one better. What do you think? Anyway, so on the screen I'm going to show you how much yarn I use because I use this yarn for toes and heels so everything was knitted in this yarn. Now you can focus on those beautiful heels that I have on toes. The socks are not blocked. As you may know, I don't block them because just wear them and block them. Well, they're gift knit, so they will be blocked. But if I'm knitting socks for myself, I don't. And for videos, I don't because I want to show you as quick as I can and that's how we roll. <laughs> That's why soft blockers. Right, I knitted them two at a time, starting from toes. I uh, increase every second row once I reach 56 stitches. Most of my female family members have exactly the same ish sort of foot like me, so I'm able to give them uh, socks like these. Then, what I did, I did 60 rows. Um, 
and I marked for the heel because the heel I like to use is after felt thought heel which I do also two at a time but let's forget that for a sec while I was continuing with the with a cuff right this one and I wanted something between summertime so ankle socks and between full size and I went with 30 rows over here 30 and I think that's a little bit small I think I'm going to go well it's fine but I think I'm going to go with 40 and the ribbing is two by two and I have and I have 10 rows and the ribbing it's fine I just add an extra 10 next time I'm going to knit and then after thought heel after thought heel I'm doing four rows round first for like giving that height for your ankle or under your ankle actually because we're talking about the heel and I'm doing the creases which would be exactly the same thing every second I decrease uh, until I get 12 stitches and I do Kitchener stitch. I do modify Kitchener stitch so and I created a video about it so link down below. You're asking me to kind of do a record vlog how I knit a full pair of socks to show you. I don't know is it a good idea or not. I may try. Let me know if you'd be interested to see something like this. I'm not sure will I be physically able to do that and how it'll work because I knit socks everywhere. So it won't be just a beautiful white table all the time, I think. But you can see that during my vlogs too, and that's why the vlogs are for, because they'll show you when, where I knit, how I knit, and sometimes I um, tell you a few stuff, uh, tips, what I do, that you may try if you haven't done. 12 stitches, toe every second, crease up to 56 stitches, then we have 60 rows, uh, marking for the toe, 30 rows, 10 ribbing, 2x2, two two, and then we do after thought heel, 4 rows in the round, and then the crease every second until you get 12 stitches, kitchener stitch, and voila! I think that's all! Don't forget to use hashtag knitting, I love show me what you're knitting, don't forget to join our knitting crocheting make along, you can enter any finished object, I will leave a link down below to Reverly group where you can, or even thread straight away, where you can submit your finished objects, and I hope I see you there. Don't forget to comment, let me know. Do you have the same system in regards, how many stitches, how many rows do you use for the cuff? Uh, I know you probably do long ones, short ones, and what is your number? I'm very interested to hear that. I hope you enjoy this one. See you next one. Bye!